Hi, and welcome to my C Sharp .NET 3.5 tutorial. Uh, this one's going to be talking about a simple background worker process. My name is John Seaton, and uh, we'll be uh, walking through this in a multi-part series. This will be the introduction, and the next one will be actually diving into some code. What we're going to do is we're going to look at how to create a simple background worker. The idea is to be able to have a form and still interact with that form while doing processing in the background that might normally cause the form to lock up and be inaccessible uh, during that time. Uh, the reason, another reason for this is you don't always want to involve the full-fledged background worker process uh, that, that Microsoft has. And it's, it takes a little while to set up, so. If you're going to do a you know a big project, it's probably better to go that route. But if you're going to do a little one-off, a little program here or there to help you out, and you know you're going to be doing some stuff that's going to hang up the form, and this is a good simple method for accomplishing the same thing with very minimal code. In the first part, we're going to be talking about actually the building the thread and kicking that off. Very basic. Um, in the second one. We're going to be talking more about how to interact with form controls from another thread. And if time permits, in that same one, we'll also include this piece here, which is how we're going to update the time that's, that's counting off in seconds um, while the thread's going. So the thread's running on another, uh, the, the worker's running on another thread in the background, and we can see it here counting up one, two, three, and, you know, in seconds. Um, we can add or take away time by putting a positive value in here. Click the add button. It'll, you know, add that time to the uh, the time that's incrementing. And uh, pardon my dogs going nuts in the background there. Um, say so, well, like so we can decrement that time as well by putting in a negative number. Uh, and I'll show all that in the third one. So that's what we got uh, to look forward to. And uh, so we'll get started on that in, uh, in the second one. Again, my name is John Seaton, and we'll uh, see you on the second one.